Hey everyone, how's it going? So today, I'll be talking about common mistakes with the windmill to air flare combo. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified. I upload at least twice a week so you don't want to miss out. Alright, so let's get started with the video. A common mistake I see people do with this combo is that they jump straight into it without having a form or understanding of windmills or air flare. The first thing I want to mention is that before you get this combo, you should at least have decent windmills and a good air flare. Having these two moves are really important. If you just blindlessly attempt this combo without any understanding of both moves there's a possible chance that you can really hurt yourself and we don't want that if you're struggling with windmills and you're still collapsing on your lower back and not on the upper shoulder i recommend working on it more until you get really comfortable and that you're doing it on your upper shoulder this will make a lot more sense as we get farther on to the video the most common mistake i see people do with the windmill to air flare combo is that they don't roll what they do instead is go way too fast with the windmill while using a lot of force and momentum to push up so when they're trying to come up they push as hard as they can to attempt the air flare and end up crashing or tapping the floor. That's not how the move works. Control is key for power combos. If, if you keep attempting your power moves with force and relying so much on momentum, you're never going to have true control. A way to prevent this from happening is by learning how to roll from the windmill. I suggest learning how to do windmill to spike first because the movement is very similar and it really helps you understand how to control your body more. I want you guys to watch carefully on how I'm rolling up my body into the move instead of forcing myself up and pushing really hard to get over. Notice how when I'm doing a windmill, I'm on my upper shoulder while rolling up to my arm and my right arm is already locked. Yes, this is super important and doing this will definitely help make the move more easier and put less impact and pressure on your arms and wrists. Another good way to train this combo is by rolling onto your left shoulder and push up to a handstand while trying to keep your legs wide and arms locked. Another common mistake I see people do is not lock their arms on the left. When you're on your back from the windmill, keep your right hand straight and lean it really close to your left shoulder. Once when you're in that position, you have to lift yourself up while using your left hand for support. As you're pushing, keep both of your arms locked. This will keep your body more stable and balanced, so when you throw up with the air flare, your hips will have more room and height. Let's talk about the arms. You never put your hand close to your body. You either want it farther away from your face or a little bit away from your head. I would say maybe shoulder length wise. The reason why you don't want to put your hand close to your face is because when you get up into the air flare, your arms cannot extend and you have to use more force to push your body up. Alright, there you guys have it. These are common mistakes with the windmill to air flare combo. If you guys know anybody that's struggling with this combo, feel free to share it to them. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Also, it would be awesome if you guys can leave your comments down below letting me know what topic or what common mistakes I should talk about next. And I'll do my best to get back to all you guys. And let's just have fun with it. Let's inspire one another. I hope all you guys get this move down. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Peace.